Hey y'all, this is Sarah from Tenderfoot Village. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make my little sock snowman. So for this, for this tutorial, you'll need the same body that you would use to make one of the sock gnomes. And if you're not sure how to get to this part, you're welcome to pause this video, go check out my um, gnome video real quick um, on how to get to this point. But I figured I would go ahead and just start with this so that we can move along a little quicker. So you're gonna need a sock body. And then to make this specific snowman, you're gonna need two pieces of this, I don't even know what this is called. It's like ribbon, but sequined. And I got it at Walmart. So you'll need um, some of that. And I'll show you the measurements here in just a minute. Then you'll need uh, something to blush the cheeks with. I have a couple of push pins to help me hold the eyes in place while I glue them. Then you'll need some little, come here little guys. I'm using little stars. Um, these will go on the belly. And then you'll need little black buttons or beads for the eyes. And elastics. And I get those at the Dollar Tree. You'll need some embroidery floss. Does not matter what color. Tool. I got this tool at um, Walmart for like a dollar something. Very, very inexpensive, and you get a lot of it. You'll need um, a sock, a decorative sock for the hat. In this particular tutorial, I'm just gonna use a gray sock, but you can use the fuzzy socks, you can use your leftover parts of your socks from your gnomes that you make. Uh, very easy to just tie that off at the top, and once once I show you how to do that, it's, it's so very simple. So, uh, decorative sock, then you'll also need a sock for the body. Now, I do wanna say something about the sock for the body real quick. So, I have made these sock snowmen with the Dollar Tree socks, and I personally just don't feel like they're as successful and they don't look as, um, I don't know, elegant or uh, nice. They don't look as, they're not as good of quality. So, and they also are not, as stretchy whereas these socks that are more well made are much more stretchy um my personal recommendation is probably the ones that have the little bit thicker that would go on the bottom part of your foot and the little bit thinner on the top part of your foot um but that is my personal recommendation i just think that it ends up making the snowman look a little bit better but you can totally personalize this to whatever your heart desires. Um, again, I also want to emphasize that this is your sock snowman that you're making, so you can make it totally your own. If you if you see me do something that you think you know a better way to do it, by all means do it. I'm just trying to show um, a, as simple and easy as possible how to make a cute little sock snowman, so. Okay, let's see. Um, variations on the eyes. So you can use the little googly eyes. They do look cute that way. Uh, you just kind of have to play around with it. But um, I personally prefer the little black buttons or beads. Okay. And then also you'll need your, your glue gun and glue sticks. So. All right, let's get started. So first things first, we have to make it looked like a body and head of a snowman. So I'm gonna use one of the elastics to do that. And I'm just gonna put it right over the top. And I'm probably going to go down about right there. And this takes just a minute. You really wanna, this is probably something you wanna spend some of the most time on because you wanna get it to where you like the way it looks. And because once you have everything together, it's a little harder to get it uh, shaped at that point. So I like where it's placed. Now I'm going to use my embroidery floss and just wrap it around, pull it pretty tight, wrap it around again. Let me come around to the front so you can see. Pull it pretty tight. Now I'm just going to tie it in a knot. 
not a bow, a knot. Pull that pretty tight and then cut off your excess. All right, once you have that done, you can stick a little dot of glue. I'm not sure how much this matters, but I always feel a little bit better about it. So I just think it holds everything well. Okay, once you have that done, you're going to take your sock and drape it over the head, completely over, all the way around. And then you're just going to kind of pull it up a little bit and you can readjust this a little later on as well, but you just want to kind of get it where you like it for now. So then after you do that, I like to right about where the heel of the sock is, I like to tie it off. Okay. And then let me do that a little bit better. Bear with me just a second. Let me straighten it out. Okay, so I'm gonna tie it off right there. All right. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually going to not pull this super tight yet. It's still pretty loose. Um, and I'm gonna just cut it straight off. So, cutting off that extra. And you can actually save this because you can use this for a hat as well by tucking in the part you cut and then putting it on the head and then folding it up so that you see the clean edge. And it actually looks really cute that way as well. So save that, don't throw that away. Now back to this. So th at this point, I like to put a little bit of hot glue right here on the end and I'm gonna just kind of start smashing it together. Okay. And then I'm gonna take and use the excess to just kind of push it over to finish it off a little bit. And once you do that, you can pull down on the sock a little more to create the little knotty ball kind of thing. So there's that part. Okay, and next, what I like to do is, I like to take the little ribbon sequin stuff, make sure you're on the right side, and I start this at the back. So I'm gonna lay it down, I'm just gonna kinda smash him right now so he stays flat. Need some more hot glue. Okay. So I put a little dot right in the middle of the back to start me off. I am the worst at hot glue webs. I know better too. Okay, and then I just kind of press gently to get it started. And if you notice, I'm not all the way down on the uh, very, very edge because uh, I, I just, I personally like it to be in the center, uh, I guess centered on this band that's going around. So anyway, so back to it. Now that that spot's dried, now I draw, I do a line of glue. So. Ah, you know what? I completely forgot to tell you how much of this I use. So the amount of sequin um, ribbon stuff that I use is 10 inches and, and then one little extra strip. 
and the 10 inches gives me a little extra overhang that I'll just cut off, but I like to give myself extra just in case, because sometimes when you make them, the head will be a little bit bigger than other times. So this will just allow for a little extra. Plus you could, you could measure before you cut as well. Okay, now I'm just gonna cut that extra off. Okay. All right, so there is the little prettiness around the edge. Okay. Next, we will be adding the scarf, which is right here. So this, let me show you how much I used on this. I think it's important. So this is approximately 14, or sorry, 13 and 13, 26 plus four, six, two, seven, three, eight, nine, 30. So 30-ish 30 inches, 30 to 32 inches is probably better. I start at the back and I kind of scrunch it down and I go around with both sides, both pieces, not pulling too tight because you don't want to completely squish it. Um, you still want it to have that scarf-like look, uh, the thickness around these sides. If you pull it too tight, it's, it just becomes really, really thin. So get it around to the front. Now that I'm at the front, I'm going to tie it off to the side just a little bit. So I still want it to be seen in front because I'm going to have a little decoration right here, but I want it to be not in the middle of the front of the guy or girl. So you don't have to pull super, super tight. And then once I get that on, how I like, then I'm going to trim the excess a little bit and I will probably trim it one more time. Maybe not, but probably before the very end of the tutorial. So let me lay it back down, trim this one. All right. So there's that part so far. Okay, so now we're gonna use the blush and I just get a little bit on. And I got this from the Dollar Tree. It's uh, LA Colors brand. And the color on this one is called Blushing Pink. So I blow off a little bit of the extra. Okay, so now when I blush it, I'm just going to, wherever I think that I would like the cheeks to be, which is going to be interesting to do upside down, but I just will put a little dab and I like mine to be a little further apart than some people may be but please make this your own. And I just kind of use my finger and smush it around until you get it to where you like it. Okay. I'm gonna pull down a little bit and just add a little bit more down underneath the scarf a little so it doesn't look like it just stops at the scarf. Okay. All right, so there's that. And the blush will lighten up. It will, cause it's, I'm not spraying it or setting it with anything. So it will, just like on the sock gnomes, it'll lighten up. Okay, so once we have that, then I like to do the eyes and I take 
and I just kind of play around with it until I get, I kind of actually, let me back up. So I smash the face a little bit because if you don't, they just roll off and they still do a little bit, but not quite as bad. So I just kind of play with the placement where I like it. And once I get to where I like it, Then I will put these little pins in just to kind of help me not lose my spot. Bear with me just a second and I'll show you what this looks like. Okay, so I just kind of double check to see if I like that. And I think I do, I don't, I don't see anything bothering me with it. So now this is the little bit tough part these little eyes are so tiny so I lift up the pin and you can actually move this up a little bit out of your way because it's not glued down so I lift up the pin and then I also will grab this and stick it right underneath next to the pin And then I pull the pin out. Okay. And I do the same for the other side. Okay. So lift up the pin, lift up the button, put a little dot. Bear with me, I need to see where that was. Okay, put a little dot right next to the pin. And then pull the pin out. Okay, hot <laughs> glue webs. Okay. So this needs to dry for a moment and set. While that is drying, I'm gonna take this little piece that I cut off and I need to clean up the edges a little bit because they're pretty jagged. So I'm just gonna take my scissors real quick, move this guy out of the way, take my scissors really quick and just trim off that extra. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side clean it up a little bit and then on this end okay so once I have that where I like it I am just gonna fold this in half and I'm gonna glue it together okay. so not pressing super hard because you don't want to get the glue everywhere but just gluing it together. I'm gonna let, lay that down for a moment. And while that is setting up, I'm gonna grab my little stars and I'm gonna put the little stars on the front, on the belly. And I like to, to look where the nose would be and just kind of come down in the middle of there and that's kind of how I figure I'm going to line up my little stars. So I'll take my glue, stick it right about here. Ooh, that was a lot. That is okay. We just won't push down as hard. So there's the first one. Okay. And then on the second one, I just go right underneath it and I line it up with between the two legs. It's where I line up the point on the next star. And I think I'm actually gonna put it on the back of the star this time. 
may help. Okay, so now I am going to follow that. Trying to make it where you guys can see. Right there. There we go. And now we're ready to put on our little jewel. So I'm gonna put this little jewel right here over the knot, right over the knot. So for me, I like to turn the little jewel like this, kind of like a diamond um, instead of a square. But again, you do it however you want. So I'm gonna put the glue on the back of the jewel. And then I am just going to stick it right on the knot. There we go. And now I'm going to look at it real quick and see if I like how much of the um, scarf is hanging. And I think I'm gonna take it up just a hair. So I think I'm gonna cut off to about right there. So I'm just gonna bunch it up. him out. All right. And there you have it. That is how I make my little sock snowman.